There's something about the sound of the clock. The tick, tick, tick in a room that makes you feel like you've not walked into a museum. It, it's a home. There's just that sense of warmth. We have close to 50 clocks here. Getting the clocks to work again. Like almost everything here, I thought, well, this is going to be pretty easy. Well, that turned into a bit of an odyssey. No. Please. It turns out we have got probably close to 600 random keys that we don't know what they belong to. Every single piece of furniture in here has a little keyhole and a key. It's a shocking amount of keys. Finally, we found the keys to the clocks and we were able to just crank some of them up and they worked, which was so exciting. The rest had to be sent out. They all needed work because they hadn't been working for the better part of 30 years. We're here with Matthew, who has come to help me get all the clocks working. So this isn't his first time here. Matthew came when my husband's father was in charge here, didn't yes, you? Yes, this was 25 years ago. 25 years yes, ago. Yes, when we used to look after the clocks. It's working. It's working. <gasps> Fantastic. Yeah. It's terrible feng shui to have clocks not working in house. Have you heard that yes, before? I have. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you yeah. have. Yeah. yeah. This particular clock that's one of my favorites, actually. This one was inherited by Georgiana Points, who was the fourth Earl's wife in 1840 when her father died, so it's extra special to have it here. It's a Boulle. Boulle was a furniture maker who lived in the 1600s. This case is made of tortoiseshell, and then it's um, inlaid with brass, and then gilded with bird trick. Mercury gilding is very dangerous. It's illegal to do it now. People who did it had very short lives. Not a good thing to do because it's a mechanical clock. Things do wear out. Because it's at the center of the house, I sort of feel particularly strongly that we need that heartbeat going. Yeah, I'll have a look at it here. Okay. Then we can Sounds check it good. through. Perfect. There's so few of these people left who care for old clocks. People don't want old clocks. They can't be bothered. I understand it's a lot of work to take care of them. It's a bit of a dying art, which actually really worries me. Knowing that each clock is connected to the house and they know where it came, when it came into the house is quite exciting. I mean, it's always the history of the, behind the object that's fascinating. Taking that clock off the wall, if you can imagine, I, I was sitting mm. in the back, sort of yes, just it's... terrified. These clocks need servicing probably every 10 years. It's a mechanical piece and it needs oil on there. And I don't think it's been oiled in 20 years. So the oil that was on there is all dried up and it's just, there's too much friction. If you put too much oil on there, it can create too many problems. So it's ready to go back up on the wall. It's always so exciting when they bring them back and we get to put them back in place. So is it chiming and everything? Uh, it is chiming. Oh. Open the front door. We move yeah. it up to 12 o'clock. Yeah. into warning. That's so happy making. Okay, wonderful. It makes me very happy to hear the clock's working again. It feels so different in this house. The clocks are a heartbeat. Get all the latest news from Althorpe delivered to your inbox for free. Sign up at spencer1508.com.